This is your prayer today with Brother John Baptist. This is your prayer today. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the Holy Spirit wants us to worship Him in spirit. How do we worship in spirit? To worship is to adore, to do things that are in line with the spirit of another spirit. For example, in John 4, 23 up to 24, our Lord Jesus Christ requests of the apostles and says, the hour is coming. In the prophetic or in the spirit, we swing past, present, and future. We move either backwards or frontwards. So Jesus Christ is speaking prophetically and is saying, the hour is coming. And now is when the true worshippers, it is coming, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in the Spirit. When you look at the Spirit there, it is capital S, and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. God is Spirit. Now look at that S again. God is Spirit, a very big capital S. And those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. Uh -huh. That S is the Spirit of God. Spirit is the air. Spirit is untouchable, but you can see, you can hear, you can feel, you can detect. You can know that there is a certain type of spirit within my aura, within my space, within my area of operation. So when you say, God is spirit, God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. So what does this mean? That who knows the truth? The truth is what you know in your heart about you. The truth is not the Bible. Not in the Quran or from the reverence. You are the one who knows how many pregnancies you have removed. You are the one who knows whether you take alcohol or not. I'm not saying those are bad, but you know, according to your area of understanding. But if you be Christian, if you be Christian, then you know the truth. As we are Christians, knowing the truth, even in the dark world, there is spirit. Here we are looking at the spirit of God, who is the Holy Spirit. And whatever you speak around your awe, the spirit of God will come, the spirit of God will implement according to the word you produce. Some of you may pretend to bless others, yet in the spirit, you are cursing them. Then this ceases, the word ceases to implement what you are saying. Others go to church, but they don't mean what they are praying for. You know, some people don't want even to get what they are praying for. That they don't need, they don't, they don't mean that they want to be rich. They don't mean that they want to be healed. So God is spirit. And this worshiping in spirit is the only thing that brings God from heaven to earth. Looking for people who will worship him in spirit and truth. The rest cannot bring God on earth. Nothing can bring God on earth other than worshiping him in spirit and truth. So these people we are looking at and, and, and are being called Illuminati and others, yet they are pastors. These people have decided 
to worship God in spirit, not in shouting. Not in shouting. And if you, you, you look at the way they are praying, humble, but meaning each and every dot, teeth and eyes on each word they speak. However, despite of those hard things they do, they before God's glory may be sinning. So God is spirit, capital S. So my spirit must, M-U-S-2, connect with the big spirit of God. And I worship him. How do I worship? Not singing. Hallelujah. Eh. No, 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 no. It is, if I say I am a Christian, even my behavior is Christian. If I'm like, I've sinned, I mean what I mean. That is the only way of worshiping God in spirit. That's why people like David, despite the fact that they have sinned, they go to him and tell him, I have killed. I am sorry. And God is like, I have found a man of my heart. Brethren outside there. Not only singing and praising and drumming mean worshipping, but each and every step you take in your life is worshipping. As I preach, if I'm preaching for money, not for God, I'm not worshipping. If I'm sitting here, dressing up, because people, I don't need people to see me naked, but dressing up for God, then I am worshipping. I want to worship with you tonight. No one knows you. Maybe the prophet, but to some extent. Because the Spirit of God reveals that that is for edification of the Holy Spirit. That will help you. Not, not, not everything. But there are some things you know of yourself. And they are not in line with what you, your faith preaches. Speak after me. The Lord Jesus Christ, allow me to mean what I say, to be that I want to be. When I go wrong, allow this body, allow this heart to say sorry. With that, I am worshipping. To say sorry. With that, I am worshipping. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Father in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I call you Father to come down to these people looking at me. These people worshipping with me to always mean, to always be that is being preached, that we want to be. I remain your brother, John Baptist Balina, Holy Family Ministries, setting the captives free and for free. Thank you.